G'day, mate! My name is James, and I'm really sorry about that terrible accent, accent, but we are in Australia. Wally has gone all the way to Australia, the other side of the world. It's a long, long way. He's singing some different and new types of paintings. I wanted to show you how to make them at home. Aboriginals, that's the people that were in Australia first, loved painting animals. And they loved painting unusual animals that we may not know about. This is a kangaroo. This is a boomerang. That's not an animal. This is an ostrich or an emu. This is a very unusual animal called a duckbill platypus. They really love painting their animals and they really love using natural things for their paints. So they would use colours like brown, red, blue or white. They would make them out of earth roots, out of rocks broken down, out of flowers. You can use any colours of course, it doesn't matter. Now they also painted on cave walls and cave walls are quite dark. So I'm very lucky that I printed some of these on some dark colour paper, but it doesn't matter if you use it on white, it's the same job. Now, here's one that we did earlier. This is a kangaroo. And you might notice it's not painted the same way that we paint. Can you tell me how it's painted? You're right, it's painted with dots. Lots and lots and lots and lots of dots. So, I'm going to paint this duckwood platypus and I'm going to show you how to do it. Duckwood platypus are my second favourite Australian animal. My first is a wombat because they're really cute. I'm holding a paintbrush, but I'm not holding it how we normally hold it. Because Australian Aboriginals make it with dots. I'm going to dip it in and then I'm just going to go around the outside. It takes a long time and lots of dipping. You can choose any colour you like. And you just keep going all the way around. Now, when you want to change colour, you'll have a tissue. I didn't think ahead. You just wipe the bottom and choose a different colour. This will take me a very long time to do, but that's okay. You could try dipping different things. You could try using the back of a pencil. You could try using a cotton bud. You could try using the front of a pencil. That would make a very small dot. Doesn't matter which animal you do, maybe your adult could draw you an animal. And you could do the dots. Or maybe you could draw the animal and you can get your adult to do the dots. That would keep your adult quiet for a while. Right, I'm going to go because I've got lots more painting to do and I've got to use brown next. I will see you guys later. Bye.